Hi Year 5 and welcome to CCSE's English Department. Now here in the English Department we love a bit of creative writing and that's what we've got for you today. You might be thinking, how can I make my creative writing super interesting? Well, we've got a way that we use to help us make our creative writing really interesting for our readers. We use a smart person. Smart person stands for simile, comparing something using like or as. Metaphor, where you say something is something else. So Miss Durant is a beautiful flower. A is for alliteration, where the words start with the same sound or letter. R stands for repetition, where you say the same thing over and over and over again. T stands for triples. You might know that as a rule of three. That's three adjectives to describe one noun. So, for example, he was a tall, thin, angry man. Three adjectives. P is for personification, where you give something that isn't alive human qualities. So the trees danced, the wind whistled. E is for emotive language. That's, emo that's language where you show your feelings. So you say whether you're happy, sad, angry, scared. R is for rhetorical question, where you ask a question that doesn't need an answer. S is for senses. So what can you smell, taste, touch, hear and see? O is for onomatopoeia, which are our sound words, boom, crash, bang, those interesting words that make our writing so exciting. And then finally, N. N's a bit of a weird one. So N stands for nouns, adjectives, adverbs and verbs. Basically, exciting vocabulary. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you around a couple of places in the school. I'm going to tell you about them and I'm going to ask you to write a little bit about them using our smart person techniques. Okay, the first place I want to show you was our school hall. This is where you'll have year group assemblies, whole school assemblies, rewards assemblies, and where you'll sit your exams. This will most likely be the first place you come into when you come into the school. What I want you to do is think about this room, and I want you to describe it using onomatopoeia, alliteration, and emotive language. Okay, so now I've brought you to one of my favourite rooms in the entire school. This is our library. It looks a little bit different to how it usually does, but it's still the heart of our school. This is where we have quizzes. So for World Book Day, we have a massive quiz where all the school gets involved. It's where we host our club, so book club, chess club. And it's also where you can just spend some time with your friends, hang out and get a book. I want you to describe this room using alliteration and repetition to describe the book. So the final place in our toilet brought you is our toilet room, which is obviously usually a lot louder than this. This is the place where you can spend your break times and your lunch times and you can get a little bit of fresh air. I want you to describe this place using five senses, using onomatopoeia and using personification.